Is there a way to rank in multiple cities with one website, your contractor or home service website? As a matter of fact, there is, and it's not as difficult as you may think it might be. What's up there, guys? Izzy here once again with Get Busy LLC, helping home service business owners and contractors understand the internet, digital marketing, and get their business found online. In this video, I want to talk about multiple locations and how to rank your website, your contractor or home service website to it so it can show up in multiple locations. We all know that we don't, you know, contractors and home service business owners, they do business in a certain town, but sometimes there's cities out there that are, you know, 15 miles, 30 miles, 20 miles, 10 miles away from where you primarily do your business. And you, if you want a way to rank on there, it's actually not that difficult to do. All you have to do is basically copy your homepage, your main page where you want to rank, and then just create a copy of that page and then create it in multiple locations. That's all you really have to do. However, I will tell you, it will be more difficult to rank each individual page in those individual cities because each one of those cities is going to have a business out there providing that service. For example, let's say a junk removal business. Let's say I have a junk removal business in Fresno, California, and my business address is in the city of Fresno, California, and I want to target some of these other cities. There's a bunch of cities in the perimeter of Fresno that are maybe 10, 15 miles away, but there's a it's going to be very difficult for that individual location page to actually rank above pages that are providing junk removal service in that particular area. For example, let's say like uh, Sanger, Fresno. It's a smaller town out there. There's a high probability somebody in Sanger is already providing a junk removal business in that area. So my page to outrank them is going to be very difficult because Google's going to give people a local service provider in their local market. Still, if I owned that junk removal business in Fresno, I would still build out those pages and then I would work heavily on the SEO of, of the website, creating a backlink profile for my website so that, how would I say, Google really sees me as the authority, that particular website page, and it sees all those location pages surrounding my website, my website's main page. It'll give it a, a better probability of showcasing some of those location pages. But for other businesses, other services like maybe like concrete, asphalt, that type of stuff, it's really not that difficult because again, when it comes to the contractors and home service business owners, the competition is not that fierce because most contractors are still out there getting word of mouth, referrals, so there's nothing, against, I have nothing against that. That's still by, by far the best way to get leads, but you're gonna be missing the boat, especially as the years go on and some of these, especially some of the younger contractors start picking up on all this digital stuff you're going to be left in the dust. So I'm going to show you guys how to structure some location service pages so that they rank better on Google and get you more leads for your business. So I'll show you guys an example here real quick. So how do you do it? How do you structure these service location pages? Basically, all you have to do is create a copy of your homepage and make many versions of your homepage as individual location pages. So like, for example, this guy here, he's ranked here, Asphalt Paving in Reno. He's ranked number one here and in the map listings as well. This, by the way, is getting him a shitload of leads. This is all he does for all of his marketing. We used to do Google ads for him, all kinds of stuff. It took a while to get us there, but this is pretty much all he does to get generate leads is use SEO. Anyways, but in order to rank in different areas, for example, he wanted to show up more in these, some of these cities right here. Now that Google listing profile has got a radius and it goes a certain, you know, a certain radius, but we wanted to expand. So basically all we did was built many versions of his homepage. So you got like Carson City here, Asphalt Paving Carson City, a, a small version of that, Cold Springs, Truckee, uh, Tahoe City, Sparks, Nevada. And you'll see, let's take a look at a map of, of Reno right here. So you see Cold Springs is way up here. There's Reno. Sparks is uh, maybe 10 miles away from Reno. And he's got Carson City down here. Where is it at? Way down here, Carson City. He's also got... He does Truckee, California. We're still going to work more on this page because I we're trying to get that one to rank a little bit better. But just to show you, um, there's a place where you can go. It's called Bright Local. And there's a tool on here, and it'll give you a local search result. So you could just type in Cold Springs, Nevada. Like here, it says right here, Cold Springs, Nevada, asphalt paving. So if I were to type asphalt paving and my ass is sitting there in Cold Springs, Nevada, 
what exactly shows up on that search first page of Google. And this is exactly what this tool does. And you're going to see his website, see his map listings to show up because it's way further away, but at least his website shows up. You can see that right here. And I'm surprised that it's actually his homepage is showing up, probably because we mentioned Cold Springs on here. But his other page might, might be here too. No, it's not. But there you go. This website's showing up on there because we have that page built out on that location. Now, Asphalt Paving Carson City. As I showed you here, let's go back to the map. Carson City's way down here. I don't know how many miles away, but it's quite a bit. So now somebody types in, like I said, Asphalt Paving Carson City. Here's my search results for that. Asphalt Paving. Look at that. First page. The first listing, Asphalt Paving Carson City, no matter that particular page is showing up as well as his, his homepage. So both pages are showing up because we built specific location pages for each one of those areas. Let's do another one real quick. Uh, Sparks, Nevada, it's about 10 miles away. Asphalt Paving for Sparks, Nevada. If I type that in, what shows up? His map listing shows up because it probably reaches out pretty far. And there's that another page for his website and another one here. It's all on the home page. Let's see. This was the furthest one in California. Asphalt paving Truckee. This is the one we we got to do some more work on. But you can see at least that page is making its traction is starting to climb up the search results right there. So that's what you need to do with your website. Just build individual pages just like that. I'm doing the exact same thing with this paving contractor as well. He does paving in Roanoke. Virginia, but there's a bunch of cities he also wants to hit. So what we did is we created a hub page showcasing the, the areas that he does, right? Like I said, we just built many versions of that home page, but see, there's a mini version of his home page for each individual location. So now when somebody types in asphalt paving Huddleston, Virginia, you can see that page particular page is showing up on the search results right there. Now, you just you don't just build the pages and they just rank on magically. It, you know, some in some, some situations it does because some industries are very, very uncompetitive online. Out in the real world, it's a bloodbath of competition, but online, nothing. Because like I say a lot of guys don't figure this stuff out. But what ends up happening is what you have to do is build up a very, very strong, how do you say, authority of your website, creating a very, very strong backlink profile for your actual homepage, your, your main, your actual domain name. And what ends up happening is that the way I see it, Google is trust your actual domain so much that it drags along all the other pages and helps rank them up online as well. And of course, you you have to make sure you SEO optimize every single page, just like you do your homepage. You got to make sure your, your title tags correct, your meta descriptions correct, your H1 title tags, your H2s, your H3s, the content. You got to make sure you label your you properly tag each one of your pictures to let Google know that there are from Reno, Nevada, or whatever location that you're in. So you got to make sure all that stuff. And you also have to make sure that you link back on each one of those individual location pages. Make sure you create a link that goes right back to the home page. That kind of stuff, that kind of stuff, just interlinking within the pages. But location pages, um, I don't care what business that you're in, I would build them out. Uh, as many as you need for the locations that you offer, just create. And you got to make sure that you create unique content for each one. You could keep some things the same, but change it up a little bit because I theorize that Google doesn't like duplicate content. So if you create pages that are just copy and paste from one page to the other with the exact same content, I think Google will kind of ignore it and just not index it, not put it in its files. So each one of these pages, I changed some things around like this right here, this right here, some of the stuff here, some stuff I keep the same, like the reviews. Of course, you can't change that, the steps, that sort of thing. I change the pictures on each page, but make sure you change the content up a little bit, change things up so that Google understands that it's a new page of content. It'll prioritize it and help it rank for that particular location. You know, so I don't, I just don't believe Google likes duplicate. You can change it up a little bit, but Make sure it's not 100% copy of that. So there you have it. That's how I structure location service pages for a website so that it ranks out better and gets more leads in different locations. Like I said, it's not too difficult to do. It's just copy your homepage, follow the rules of SEO, change the content a little bit, and make sure it's structured for each individual city. And each individual page is just not going to rank on its own. 
you have to make sure you have to do some more proper SEO, create a strong backlink profile for your main domain name and drag every single page along, along for the ride and go up higher on the search results. If you guys want a basic rundown of the basics of SEO, my five rules of SEO, I created a video for that to go into it. So when you build out every individual page, but that's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys want some help with any of this stuff, all my links are in the description below. And that's all I got for you guys today. Until next time.